in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Windows 2000 server as Active Directory server and the radius server for testing ITOS 2.1x uh, radius authentication for Wi-Fi start with the server manager the first step is to add the role of Active Directory server go to dashboard add a role and feature next role based installation select you shouldn't select any of the other services first you need to select active directory domain services and just add feature then next 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 and install yep. once that is finished just click close and then before installing anything else you need to configure the Active Directory server so first step go to this exclamation mark promote the server to be the domain controller yep. add a new for us to you this is a test server so I will create a test domain server.local next yeah use the default options create a password yeah click next 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 yep install The next step before installing the Windows NPS, which is going to be the Radius server, you should install the certificate authority. So, for that, you can go to add roles and features, click next, role based features, and then certificate, yep, certificate services because the Radius server needs a certificate go through the installation don't need to click any of this and install installation succeeded close this one go to the exclamation mark yep. configure active directory certificate services on the destination server click on that next select the role certificate authority it should you should select enterprise CA so that the certificates will be created for each user and also for the radius server not a standalone CA this server is going to be the root CA it will generate a private and public key pair and sign its public key with the private key this is for test purposes that's what I'm going to use uh, local CA the root root CA is going to be this server create a new private key yeah 2048 bit is good SHA-1 just select what's default click next valid yeah for five years yep once it is all done click configure 
the CA seems to be running fine. The next step is to install the NPS, which is the radius server. Role based features, next, next. Select network policy and access services. Install, next, next, next. Don't need to tick any of these. Yeah, install. Installation succeeded. Close this. Next step is to add a user to the Active Directory and then test authenticating using that username password via the Wi-Fi network. To add a user, you need to go to Tools, Active Directory, Users and Computers. Here you can see the training training server local domain is there. Go in, find the users folder. You could right click on the users, then you create a new user. I would call my user user1. Last name is test. Login name is user1. I would create a password and for testing. And because this is a testing server, I want this user to use the same password. It makes it easier to test every time and password never expires. This is only for testing purposes. Yep, you have finished adding the user and the user should appear here. Yep. And Domain, it's a member of domain users group. Uh, I will add all the domain users to be able to access the radius authentication. The next step is to go to the radius server, the NPS server, network policy server. Yeah. Here I want to create a wireless radius server for 802.1x wireless or wired connection so configure 802.1x I am trying to can create a profile for secure wireless connection I will name it Wi-Fi click next radius clients radius clients are the access points and my access points are going to be in this subnet 253.128/25 yeah and friendly name is it is and the shared secret. I will create a shared secret that I'm going to enter in this AP. So any AP communicating from this subnet asking for radius authentication will be accepted accepted by this radius server. Click OK. Next, we are going to use PEEP. PEEP is the most common 802.1 yeah the WPA2 enterprise wireless authentication method uh, in inside PEEP you can see that we are going to select the certificate not the CA certificate but the certificate for this server as the radius certificate and MSJAP2 yes. and the next groups who, which users in the Active Directory are going to be able to authenticate with this radius server? Domain, domain, users, check name, domain users. Yeah. All the domain users will be able to access Wi-Fi through this. Traffic control configure. I'm not going to con con configure any of these values. The private tunnel ID, which is usually used to set the VLAN for the Wi-Fi users. Click finish. 
So this is a very simple radius server configuration and we are ready to test our radius server now. Here I have my high manager ng account with zero high, high manager and I have one of my access points connected to this. So in this part I'm going to show you how to create an SSID and point it to connect communicate with the radius server. You can create a new network policy. You don't need to have configuration for switches. This one I, I'm going to call training. Um, and I will create an SSID 802.1x radius training it will work on both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz from this authentication security options I'm going to use select 802.1x enterprise and once you select that there is an option to create a radius server. Radius server, I'm gonna name it as Win 2012 Radius 1. It's an external radius server. Win 2012 1 external. You need to add an IP address which is 172.18. 253 five, three. Three. and the shared secret you have to configure the same shared secret you configured in the radius server save now have your radius server Save. It's all good. Your SSID is here. Radius server is here. And click next. Next. D and S. And now upload this configuration to this access point. Yeah, upload is finished. Now it's time to test. Now we are ready to test the Wi-Fi client connecting to the Wi-Fi access point using radius authentication. To show that it is working, I would open Wireshark. Yep. You can go to Capture Interfaces, select the local interface of the Radius server, maximize, and then let's filter by Radius. And now I'm going to connect my client to the SSID. This is the SSID. My client is attempting to connect. Then you can see that it, it, it connected and successfully authenticated. You could we could stop Wireshark and see what happened. This is the IP address of the AP sending access request and after the challenge handshake finally the radius server accept the client and then the client connected. So that's the end of my video on how to configure Windows 2012 server and an AeroHive AP using high manager ng for radius authentication. Thank you for watching.